one look, he's like, one more praying, putting his hands together, one more, please, please, Justina. <laughs> Travel lovers. We're actually going to the Chocolate Hills today, which if you watched our previous videos, you know that in 2016 we really wanted to come and see them, but our holiday was cut short due to a typhoon. So two and a half years later, we're, we're on our way. Doing it. Exactly. Yeah. So we rented our scooter for the whole day, so we got plenty of time to explore. And hopefully on the way back home we're gonna be able to see the Tarsiers, which are those little monkeys with big big eyes. So we've got about 45 minutes uh, on this kind of back road. Uh, it is gorgeous though, there's palm trees everywhere, rice fields, such a nice day for a moped ride. It really is, yeah, and really the sky is. is blue, only with a few clouds, really yeah. nice hot day, yeah. Perfect time to do the chocolate hill. Okay. Let's go. Woo. stopped off the side of this road. I just heard Justina behind me going, wow! Yeah, look at these rice fields, it's amazing. Yeah, that is really nice. Bohol is definitely a very green island. It's just, wherever you go, wherever you look, even when I put the drone up, it's just so beautifully, lusciously green. And we really, really have fallen in love with Bohol. I love the freedom that scooter gives you. Like you can go anywhere, you can like turn left and right, you can go into the smallest pathways and find these beautiful gems. I think the Philippines is really, really good for riding a scooter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And I can't wait for this weekend, but we won't tell everyone what we're doing, yeah? What are we doing? You don't know? You do know. We're going to... getting some amazing views we haven't even reached the summit yet as in like where we're gonna have to climb but wow, look, look at that. this guys this is a preview okay guys so we finally made the chocolate hills it took us about an hour and 15 minutes to get here from our hotel the road was amazing we managed to fly a drone oh such a good ride so yeah behind me you can see beautiful mountains although we're not even at the top yet we still got over 200 steps to climb but whilst we're here we thought we're gonna do a little introduction because it may get really really windy up there so the way that the chocolate hills were formed is basically through land erosion just similar like to volcanoes during the dry season the chocolate hills tend to have brown color hence the name chocolate hills and during the rainy season it's usually more green or more lush so right now I think we're in between I think yeah. between the dry and the and the rainy there's a restaurant up here we've parked our moped here and we need to go up these steps now to the top okay so we just started climbing up the steps uh, about over 200 steps but it looks really easy and plus there's a nice cloud that's just shielded the Sun just at this very moment so we're so blessed. Hands. <laughs> okay, maybe that's enough now. 
What's going on? Mom, 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 mom. He's like desperately trying to get a picture of Justina. He got a next one. Look, he's like one more praying. Put his hands together. One more, please, please, Justina. One more. Anyone else? Anyone else? He wants one as well. He's like, guys, I'm gonna start charging you. Okay, fifty pesos, please. <laughs> I actually think there was more pictures taken of you than the Chocolate Hills. <laughs> yeah, and they went to like to grab my hand. I and, know. Like, like this for some reason. So on our way down now, and uh, it was really, really nice at the top. But you don't even necessarily need to go to the top because there's 1,268 individual chocolate hills scattered around this area so even down here you can see the chocolate hills on the way up you can see the chocolate hills um, really beautiful I'm really glad that we came here ready to go on to our next destination well I'm ready to eat actually oh okay so first food and then ties yes absolutely yeah? all yeah. right okay so we found an amazing sushi restaurant on the side of the road named Tokyo Roadhouse yeah and uh, just received this. It's an ice cold napkin. I'm just gonna give it a bit of this. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good idea, yeah. On the face. Cheers, me, sir. Cheers. Oh, this oh, is good. Th that is literally the most refreshing beer I've ever had. That's what we need. We know to start in the Philippines. Most of Filipinos, they have the napkin. Towel, yeah, that goes like this usually. Yeah, yeah it calls the neck. So uh -huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what the locals do. What should I do? I don't know what we want. We here. haven't even decided. What do you, yet. Okay. What what do you, you recommend? Oh, uh, if if I uh -huh. yeah. if I'm gonna choose, I will, yeah. if you want them to, I recommend this ten ketchup in blue. Sushi. Hmm. I ask first of you. Yeah, uh, yeah, because okay. I really would like some sushi. Yeah. <laughs> no sushi available. <laughs> oh, my hair is kind of crazy. Guys, I'm no longer blonde. I need to get my hair done. You're showing your true colors, literally. <laughs> well, ginger, that's that's my true color. I can't believe you're ginger. I've never seen Justina with ginger hair. So we insert a picture it. now. Chicken teriyaki. It's like a orange there, loads of rice, and some veg, like cabbage and everything. So nice, wow. Yours is amazing too. Here's a close up of mine as well. Looks really good. Wow. The food is really good. I agree. Highly, highly recommend. Oh my mm. god, look at this. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> just around the corner from the Tokyo Roadhouse where we just had our lunch. That was amazing, by the way. We came to the Tazia Sanctuary place. Literally just next door. It's amazing. It seems to be like it's really busy from what I'm seeing so far. So many people around here. Must be really good. Is it? So it's 60 pesos per person. Not too bad. The claw. <laughs> <laughs> tapping her, tapping her hand like that, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, oh, just oh. that hand again. Okay. Where do we go? Uh, just go. Go here. And left side. And left side. Okay, thank you. Thanks, hand. Mildly terrifying. Imagine that at the end of your bed. Oh, oh this way. Cute. Oh, it's really peaceful in here actually. Yeah, really peaceful. Let's see if the camera can pick up the noises of the jungle. Shh. Just got a little bit of information about these little creatures that we're about to see. And it says here that Tizias are one of the smallest primates in existence. So in a way they're like tiny small monkeys with big big eyes. Yeah. yeah and they're very in danger due to people taking them as pets which is really really weird like why would you want to keep them as pets right? I have no I idea. Have no idea. The area where we're at which is Bohol Tazia Sanctuary mm -hmm. is run by Carlito the Tazia man and <laughs> all of these Tazias are in a very large natural enclosure that prevents predation. So yeah, what's they're that? free to go wherever they want and catch natural insects, frogs etc. I'm just seeing what in the tree Taking a nap after its lunch, just like I wish I was doing. 
viewing is only 9 to 10. 9 to 10 for viewing yeah. only? Okay. Others are in breeding area. Oh, in breeding oh, area. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. 9 to 10. Yeah. Okay, are they having naps now? Yeah, yeah. they're nocturnal. Oh, All okay. they sleep and at night they're active. Oh, oh they're okay. They're active, yeah. Dean is like, oh my god, it's so cute. And then she said she could see why people have them as pets. Savage. They are really sweet though. It's really hard to pick up on the camera because they're kind of in the shade and they're not very close to us. So my zoom range is quite limited. But trust us guys, they are so sweet. And they are about the size of my hands. You could literally do that. And apparently Tarsiers are very sensitive to light. So you never ever should like flash at them. And they're flash very- Flash at them? Well like, woo! <laughs> anything else today is a working day I've got teaching to do and Misha has a lot of video editing to do yes? a lot a lot a lot a lot so we're gonna end this video here guys just on the road yeah. surrounded rice fields and, oh. and palm trees and, palm and trees. chickens and a buffalo <laughs> in the field there today was a massive tick off our bucket list <laughs> super happy but we will see you again on our next video exactly guys so make sure you stay subscribed to our channel because we still got so many Filipino adventures coming your way so as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!